question. So, uh, Terry, what is art in your opinion? I, um, where do we start with that? Where, what is art? I, so let me start by saying that on one hand, I think everyone is capable of creating art. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm against, um, I'm against the thought that I'm against like the elitist, you know, kind of high art approach that, you know, I, I really think that anyone is capable of creating art. I think, I think su successful art is something that opens a window that creates a portal into someone's inner world. So I feel like if, if, if that's the first the purpose behind it, I feel like then it's art. Um, it, it's and as artists, like, and, and this is where I struggle a lot with, with other things too. As artists, we, we, you know, we, I think a lot of us have, the uh, we want to leave a mark on the world. Everyone does. It's a human, it's a human trait. And I think we have the illusion that, <laughs> you know, we can leave a mark on the world. And, and, and I come from a different way of thinking about life about the world where I, and, and where I feel like I don't matter in the sense that we spend on average 80, 85 years on this earth, mm -hmm. you know, which might seem like a long time from our little narrow little perception, but ultimately in the, you know, grand scheme of things, when you look at the big picture and you look at the history of the world, 80, 90 years, even a hundred years is, is but a fraction of a second. It's right. really, yes. good. and, and, and and this is not something that I find depressive, depressing, and and I've been told that it's nihilistic, and I disagree. I, I think there's real beauty to that. I mm -hmm. think there's real beauty to the fact that we're eph ephemeral and nothing lasts, and that. Why do you think that is appealing to you, or why do you why do you find it? Um, why do you think it's uh, beautiful and not super depressive? Um, well, I believe in reincarnation. <laughs> I believe okay. that there's more to this life than what we see. I believe that there's more to the world than, than you know, this, like mm -hmm. the physical. And uh, it's hard. That's a tough question. That's a tougher question than... than I mean, I'm, I'm curious because I, I actually agree with you. Um, the... Um, us, you know, humans and the Earth being absolutely minuscule, not just the physical space the Earth occupies in the universe, but the small amount of time that the even more minuscule humans occupy, like, in time. I, I mean, I don't think that is um, depressive necessarily. It rather, I mean, for me, or, you know, maybe, maybe you agree with this, but, uh, or you can tell me what you think. For me, it rather fortifies that all right, I mean, I might as well try to try to do my best or try to do what I want or try to go for that goal or try to go for this thing because it seems like inherently things don't really matter that much and I don't have that much time. So that, for, that's kind of why I find that uh, really appealing and liberating in a way. It's, it's liberating. I think yeah. I think liberating is a good term. You know, when you look at nature, nothing lasts, but everything gets recycled. You know, something dies, it goes into the ground, it, it feeds something else that grows in its place. And it's it's this big cycle. And I find that fascinating and somewhat comforting. And mm, yeah, and comforting is also a good term. Thank you. And I feel like, and, and so that's how I feel about, um, life in general and, yeah. make, and making art um i i think i think art is one of our most basic human the creation of art and appreciation of art you know in any form i think is one of our one of the traits that make us human one of our most basic instinctive traits that make us human and, and i think i think there's a beauty to that um and 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 like there's other there are other ways to look at this. So um, I'm going to shift that into something that's a little more concrete now. I feel that art is a lot of what's considered art. I think um, is defined by the art market, mm -hmm. which not defined, but I feel like the art market definitely influences. Sure, you know, art. That makes sense. Yeah. 
and, and you know, forces movements and forces, you know, or they to... try to force things anyway. Exactly. And, and, and so I don't know, I, I struggle with that. I struggle with that. I don't have an answer. That's just something I wanted to bring up. But then um, there's also something kind of reactionary and reactive on my part to, to my definition of art, because, you know, I came into the world of art in, in a more commercial, um, you know, capacity as a designer, our job is to create objects to sell. Mm -hmm. ultimately you know to create something that's appealing to a customer and 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 art is used in that sense to solve a problem and to answer a question and in my personal practice i try to divorce myself from that approach and, and try to you know create from the gut and create from you know being a little more instinctive and a little more spontaneous about it mm -hmm. i don't know if i answered the question but i, I those are 